America's sweetheart Kelly Clarkson is going through a divorce from hell, and her ex-husband will stop at nothing to take her down. I, I was destroyed, like on the ground, crying. Kelly thought she had finally found true love when she married Brandon. But was he just using her? He quit his career after they broke up, and now he's asking for spousal support and custody of their kids. And even Blake Shelton, who was managed by Brandon, is taking Kelly's side. Get your head out of your ass. But how did Kelly go from having a perfect family to living this nightmare? My biggest dream was to have a successful marriage and successful family in whatever form that was gonna be for me. You married your, your husband, Brandon, in 2013. He was the son of your manager. I had had a thing for him, like, you know, he was a, a successful guy and it's very hard for women in this industry to, to date and, and meet a guy that doesn't have some kind of inferior complex, that, you know, with your spotlight situation. So it's, it's very hard to find someone that is very comfortable in their skin and can take that. But he grew up with it. It was so attractive to find someone that was so breezy. Oh, Kelly wanted to build her perfect family with Brandon because she grew up with an absent father. Everyone deserves a great dad and everyone deserves that moment and that's why we crave it. Mm. It's because you want that. You see it with other people and you're like, oh man, I, I deserve that. Like, why can't I have that? But like, not everyone gets that. Have you stayed in touch with your father? If someone presents such a cancerous environment and then just keeps hurting you, you should just not have that person in your life. Hurt and abandoned by her dad, Kelly struggled in love. So I almost didn't know what to search for in a man. I was very much a gypsy at heart, and I just never thought I'd get married or have kids. And then I found this man that is so loving. And so it's like piece by piece, he picked up all the pieces of me, you know, put them back together. I didn't even know men like that existed. <laughs> so I very much lucked out. I am not alone for the first time for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I'm very happy. And it was Kelly's friend Blake who pushed his manager, Brandon, to make his love for her official. You need to get your head out of your ass and ask this girl to marry you. Kelly and Brandon sealed their big day with a passionate kiss in this stunning wedding shot. Kel shared the news with a tweet, quote, I'm officially Mrs. Blackstock. Kelly trusted Brandon and let him become her manager because she thought he supported her dreams. And there was no point where I didn't think he believed in me as an artist or believed what I was capable of. Honestly, it's kind of like perfect. You know, he travels and he knows the business and I don't have to worry about it or explain myself away that I have to go to work or... Over the next seven years, Kelly built the family she'd always wanted. The last time you were here, you were very pregnant. Yes. And now you have a very adorable little boy. I'm it's such a mom. I keep talking about my kid. I love you so much. Happy birthday, baby. I love you more than you'll ever know. But behind closed doors, Kelly's marriage was falling apart. Love makes you do incredible things and incredibly stupid things. I'm a fixer and I think everything is salvageable. You can't help someone if they're not willing to climb up there with you. you like, this isn't happiness, you know, for both of us. Like, I'm exhausted from trying. This should not be this difficult. And things got so ugly that Kelly gave up on the thing that mattered the most to her. I was on a flight home from dropping off my kids with him and I just still had been on the fence, but it just had gotten so brutal that I was like, I don't think there's any light left. I looked at my, my daughter and I thought, would I want this marriage for my daughter? Would I want my daughter to be in this position? Like, no. So like, why would I want it for me? Kelly Clarkson shocked everyone with her divorce announcement from husband, Brandon Blackstock. Kelly was devastated to see the breakdown of the family she'd worked so hard to build. It rips you apart, you know, whenever you you fall in love with someone and it doesn't work. I was destroyed, like on the ground crying. Cause that's a loss, that's a death. Honestly, you grieve something that you thought would be forever. When you're in pain and it's so deep, you can't describe. I looked at my therapist and I was like, just couldn't stop sobbing. I was like, I cannot do this. And there was a friend who could understand Kelly's pain because he'd gone through it too. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert are getting a divorce after four years of marriage. All this darkness and the breakup. You get to a point where you you just gotta be the past and move on. While Kelly focused on protecting her kids, Brandon came back fighting for money. He is requesting a total of $301,000 a month in spousal maintenance 
and two million in attorney's fees. That's a lot of money. Brendan Blackstock is demanding all that money after quitting his career. Different requests that we have seen. You gotta ask yourself, was it really all that great? And just how bad things may have been. Brandon is trying to get the kids too, and Kelly might lose everything. Kelly wasn't gonna let Brandon take any more from her, and she fought back. What I'm dealing with is hard because it involves more than just my heart. It involves a lot of little hearts. Kelly Clarkson apparently is saying she was tricked out of millions of dollars. Kelly Clarkson claims Brandon Blackstock had defrauded her by charging her an astronomical amount of money for fees. The judge sided with Kelly, and when it came to Brandon quitting his career, he wrote, the evidence in this case shows that after the date of separation, Respondent made a very deliberate choice to change his life and become a rancher full-time. Kelly Clarkson gets another win as she's been awarded the primary physical custody of her children. And Blake supported Kelly like a true friend. Blake Shelton is no longer working with Kelly's ex, Brandon Blackstock. He is one hard-headed dude. She is the best thing that ever happened to him. Blake, he's actually the nicest human ever, and he's like the greatest big brother. Kelly came into my life 10 years ago, and she has been a powerful presence in my life. Despite how Kelly felt about her ex, she wanted her kids to still feel like they had a family. We have two little kids watching us, and you don't want to set that example for like, this is what they're going to set the bar for. I want them to aim higher. We know the best thing here is to protect our, our children and their little hearts. By learning that you don't need to stay in an unhealthy relationship to have a perfect family, Kelly came back stronger than ever. You know, there were several things that I would have loved to avoid it in life, but then I wouldn't have learned that lesson that I obviously needed yeah. to learn. And I've done a lot of work <laughs> to yeah. get out of it. You're reminded that, yes, this is a moment. Like, it's not forever. Congratulations on the new album, Chemistry. I feel like this music is a little bit of your journal. That's how I heal and I yeah. process and I figure out where I'm at. Man, when you find yourself again, it's really nice. Piece by piece, I found out my hero's me. 